glad you're here. This is our first weekend of the year. Uh, we're launching a new series. We're so great to have you. Also, those of you joining us online in our video venue as well. Uh, well, they did not realize they had only seen one form of Jesus. And it took a storm to reveal a deeper dimension of who he was. They had known him as teacher, but there's nothing like a storm that'll teach you that he's also a deliverer, that can, he can also be a healer, that he can also be a provider. They knew him as teacher, and they thought they were waking up a teacher. By the way, when you prioritize intimacy over the things you are pursuing, Jesus said in Matthew 6, if you seek first me and my kingdom, all the stuff you need will be added to you. What he's saying is, just remain in me, you'll bear much fruit and all the stuff you've been trying to achieve and accomplish. And ah, I'm doing, uh, and I gotta quit, and I gotta start, and I gotta quit, and I gotta start. And Jesus is like, yo, behold, <laughs> chill out. You see, here's what I love is that if you trust God, then you don't have to sit and wait for him to turn the light green. You can trust him enough to say, I'm going on the run. I'm going on the journey. And if he wants to get me to a certain place, he'll get me there. And if he has to close doors along the way, he'll do it. But you've got to determine to look through eyes of faith and go, God, you wouldn't take me from an upgrade to a downgrade. You're moving me from victory to victory. You're moving me from glory to glory. You're moving me to a better thing, not a worse thing. You've got good plans for me. They're to prosper me and not to harm me. So if you need me to go transition, if I need to change over, if I need to go tell Saul you're rejected, David, you're anointed, I'll do it because you're a good God taking me to good. Good.